potato aardvarks. Oh my goodness. There was another mating attempt, but was it successful? <gasps> Turnip is expecting offspring. We're gonna finally, oh my gosh, in December, we are finally going to see what a baby aardvark looks like. And I am so extremely excited about that. Just look at how cute they are. Look at their little tongues! The more I've been spending time with our aardvarks, because I refuse to look at our goats at this point, the happier I have become because they're just so unique. They have feet kind of like a tapir. They've got like a little little wombat -y tail, maybe? Actually, t wombats don't have very long tails. What does that tail remind me of? Kind of a rat tail? And the cute little noses? Like... Aardvarks are just quite interesting. The more I like turn them around and look at them and they're also feeling a little bit exposed. So we're going to try a new trick I'm attempting. Trees! My favorite. We're going to try sprinkling some trees around to shield our poor, poor animals from all of these people. And we'll see if the answer actually ends up being the glory of greenery to finally free me from the sheer stress and chaos of trying to keep up with our stressed out goats, which I refuse to do today. I refuse to do. Uh, by the way, I had my beloved chips come in because I felt like I was absolutely going bonkers and I had chips go ahead and like look this over. He took one look at all of the people who are over here on our little billy goat bridge and he burst out laughing so hard I thought that he was going to have like tears running down his face. It was ridiculous. And he looked straight at me and he was like, no wonder they're stressed out. Look at all those people. So... I suppose I have no excuses anymore for not understanding why everybody is so stressed all the time. My poor little goats. In fact, let's go ahead, maybe we can calm them down by like adding a little bit of ambient sound. Maybe that would help. Maybe it would make the people here feel a little bit more like, hey, cool, there's like stuff to see. Stop walking there, you, you geese. Oh no, and Neo has died. Oh no. Oh, but of old age, which is, you know, if that's a- Oh, don't look! Don't look! Turn your eyes away! Oh, did he- did it, did he take that as, like, a really sad thing? Okay, no, this guy is just like, the prices at Town Hall Water were great. Wow, he's really happy! Donate more money! Donate more money! What has he spent money on? Let's check out. He has not seen the Snow Leopard and he wants to go see her. He's got some cash money that we need to get off of him. Uh, and he doesn't have anything in his hands right now, and he hasn't adopted an animal, so we're going to try to fix that. But alright guys, so let's go ahead and review some of the things that have happened since you last joined us, because I just about lost my mind over those goats. I am so done with the goats, and we are going to be moving on. <clears throat> this is a town emergency, town meeting. We'll come over to town hall while I tell you guys about what we're moving on to. <gasps> Ooh, I could put plants up here on top of town hall. And actually, let me decorate town hall a little bit whilst we are still uh, having our town meeting, and I tell you guys what's up. What is this guy doing? Oh, he's, he's replacing the woman who's going to go take a break. That's wonderful! See, we're starting to finally get- This is Wolf Watcher Elias! Oh, it's so good to see him. Wow, everybody's really wanting just some water. I guess nobody wants the <laughs> the energy drinks right now. That's fine. Uh, but, <clears throat> before I get too distracted and back in the woods again, uh, we'll have a little town meeting and let me work on like trying to make this place look semi-decent while we do so. Uh, basically, it turns out I finally have figured out what was happening with the sheer chaos. Ooh, that's actually really kind of nice looking. Can I just, uh, maybe exit that and then pop this on here? With the sheer chaos of Billy Goat's bridge, I finally figured out why everything with it seemed to be going completely wrong, uh, why nothing made any sense, why people were crowding along the bridge and it's such a simple and small thing and it's such an unexpected thing that I just had to I had to have a lie down after I found it I was actually so distressed by how obvious it how not obvious it was for why everybody was crowding our billy goat bridge that I had to go lie down I was that like are you freaking kidding me so guys, the reason before that everyone was crowding up around here and when I tried to remove the bridge, suddenly all of my keepers were saying they couldn't access half the zoo is because we didn't have 
this path connected right here this path right here and it was not connected by literally one single spot one of these logs do you see these log pieces right here there was one width worth of, worth of it missing. You cannot even place that wide or that small, I should say, of a path manually. It has to happen just by accident while you're putting down and moving paths and buildings around. There was just one piece missing. And that is what cut people off. They couldn't step over that one piece. They couldn't figure out the path because there was just one sliver missing and so that's what cut our zoo in half without me realizing it when i tried to remove billy goat bridge and that is why everyone who wanted to come see the snow leopard instead of coming around and like looking at all of our reindeer and our sheep they were all trying to cross the bridge because that was the only access point that's why the crowd was so bad and now the crowd is so bad because apparently everybody and their mother wants some of the uh <laughs> wants some of our, our goat milk that we have. There, Billy Goat, Billy uh, Goat Bridge Goat Milk. There, that's what this little shop is. It's extremely popular. Uh, people are constantly here. And then we have Billy Goat Bridge Cheese Shop, Goat Cheese Shop. There. So that's what was happening. And I was so ridiculously stressed about all of that. <laughs> It was, it was awful. Uh, and then this spot right here where there's not really a path, for some reason that seems to be where the goats are getting the most stressed out. But I'm hoping by blocking the view somewhat with leaves and making people kind of have to work at looking at the goats, we'll calm them down. So that was that chaos. And while I was fixing that, we did have some uh, unfortunate passing away of some of our animals. So I'll go ahead and show you what happened. We lost... Tai Lung. So we have indeed finally lost Tai Lung, uh, which is very sad. Snug Rose is going on 19. She's extremely popular. She does not like the plants that are in here or the terrain, but otherwise she is extremely happy. You think she'd appreciate some of her beautiful roses, but that's okay. Uh, but her mate did pass away, so we are kind of keeping an eye on our beautiful, beautiful snow leopard. And if and when the time comes that she is no longer roaming through her beautiful rose bushes, we do have her daughter Silver Rose waiting for us. So I'm not I'm not going to be too upset because we do have Silver Rose waiting. And then finally, we also lost very tragically Elk. So Elk actually did pass away. Uh, our wonderful, wonderful elder Wolf Elk, and that has now left behind. His daughter, Cloud, right over here, who is ready to go and find her own mate. So we're going to actually send her to the Trade Center. And that finally leaves behind as the only wolf in the area, the founder and the continuation of this pack, Tundra, who is now six years old and ready to find a mate of his own. Look at the beautiful waterfall behind him. Oh my gosh, that's just stunning. And I'm hoping that they aren't too closely related. Ah! Okay, I gotta get out of- there we go. No, no, no! Let me go! Let me go! Phew! Sometimes wiggling loose from inside of the caves can get a little bit interesting. But I'm hoping that we'll be able to find him a new mate from among the glacier pack. Ooh, look at them! Which now include two more new babies! There are new wolf pups again! Can you believe that? I haven't even been able to keep up with these wolf pups. It has been fantastic. Ooh, and vet research is done. On my aardvarks? Yes, on my aardvarks! Huh, my little ground potatoes. I'm so happy. All right, so we do have a lot of females in this pack, and we actually have two who are not related to our wonderful tundra and who are old enough to go find their own pack. Oh, I think this one's perfect. Look at her. She's a gold quality wolf. Oh, she's beautiful. Let's check out her sister though, just to make sure we're picking the right mate for Tundra. And then here's her sister. Yes, okay. So we're gonna go ahead and have her sister go look for a new mate. And we're gonna grab Kana here. I actually love that name. And Kana, there we go. Oh, and I needed to add in... Ah, oh, dang it. I almost forgot. I needed to add in... This would be Generation 4. 
for these two wolves. All right, one day we'll make these pillars look really nice, but we have to have priorities. All right, I'm gonna say that we have uh, Kina, who will be the other wolf that we're going to actually release to the world so she can go find her own mate. And we're gonna have Kana. There we go. Kina and Kana, and we'll add in two more for the little pups that we just had as well. Um, maybe back here? There we go. And somebody's in a box, so I need to get somebody out of a box. We've had a lot of babies in the, the Glacier Pack, and I think I'm gonna go ahead and name the two little girls we have. I need to pull up your guys' name list, but I also wanna just make sure we get this done. Kina, Kana, uh, Kala, and let's see. Kina, Kana, Kala, and uh, Ken. Kina, Kala, Kala, and Ken. There we go. That's enough to like make uh, quite the mouthful, isn't it? Let's make sure that all of these wolves, look at how everybody's coming over to see them. We need to add in a lot more things for people to like admire when they're like looking at the wolves, but let's go ahead and move Kana over to where Tundra is so we can get more babies going. And then let's go ahead and grab the- Oh, look at everybody eating! I'm so glad to see that they're thriving over here pretty well. Uh, Ken. Kina, Kala, Kana. Was that Kana? Alright, what are you doing in here, buddy? Oh, he's moving the wolves. I was so confused. Why are you in a box? Get out of the box, I swear. Sometimes these spring goats, it's just absolutely ridiculous. Uh, and you guys are all gonna get over your stress eventually. Like, just... What? Why are you people here again? She's totally happy. She was just, like, in a box for too long. Hmm. Yeah, we- I'm not paying attention to the goats today. I need to get these- Oh no! Oh no! I'm not paying attention to my funds today! Oh crud! <sighs> Staff wages? Am I just gonna have to fire people? I don't wanna fire people. I might have to fire people. Like, that would be the first place I would think about cutting. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and- Lumberjack Nikki? We're gonna go ahead and have you retire. Because I just don't have enough money. <laughs> uh, we're going to have to retire Lumberjack Nikki. Uh, here, and what I'll do, Nikki, is I'll pull your name back up. She's she's going on vacation, basically. And I'm going to pull Nikki's name up on my list of patrons. Because these people are all some of our amazing patrons who have helped out at actually keeping us going as the Pixel Biology channel. Um, so I apologize, but we'll go ahead and <laughs> we're going to release you to the wilds. And uh, she's gonna go on a vacation and I marked her down to like be one of the first that we bring back cuz ouch All right, hopefully that'll help um, Crud like what else do I do? I thought we were finally pulling in some money You know getting the guests in here There's look everybody's so upset about the protesters you guys. I think it might be time to get rid of the goats I'm 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 kind of feeling I'm kind of mmm. You know what I mean? It might be, like, goat freedom time. <laughs> or we could try removing this path. Oh, oh my gosh. I can't believe I'm doing this, but, um, yeah, get out. Shoo, shoo. All right, let's try removing that. And let's try removing this path. And let's see what happens if I just release the protesters to the wilds as well. And... We're gonna see if this kind of clears up. And then this female, if everyone is still protesting about her, her offspring, she's about to have a baby. She's totally happy. Like get with the program and leave, protesters. And let's see, oh yay, she's had a baby. See, I'm gonna name this baby Peace because hopefully people will realize like they're fine. And maybe if we just make this spot better, then the animals won't get so stressed out. We'll see. Maybe we just needed to remove, like, one bridge? And we'll see if that works. Oh, look, and there goes our wolf! Yes! She's off! She's gonna be released over here. And we're gonna see if we have some gold quality wolf pups after, like, four generations of working with them. <gasps> yes, Kana has joined the back! 
Oh, you guys, let's just go ahead and relax away from the chaos of the wolves. I wanted to, or the chaos of the goats. I can hear Tundra howling. And let's just take a minute to appreciate the arrival of a new pack member. And then if we're still losing money, hand over fist. I think, I think my next goal is going to be doing the three little bears challenge. We're going to try adding in a polar bear, a grizzly bear, and an Andean bear. <gasps> They're meeting for the first time. They're just immediately mating? You guys wasted like no seconds. Babies? <gasps> She's already expecting babies. Oh, this is so exciting. Okay. I'm feeling a lot better about that. Oh, good. And we're starting to see a little bit of money come in, I think. I can't believe we got down to just like 4,000. All right. Are you guys still stressed? You know what? I am so freaking done with these these here goats i am i'm just i've had enough i need a break potato like if you're feeling stressed because of all these people you should probably move potato like get over here scooch it let's see meanwhile oh I feel like these goats are just the drag that has been destroying our entire zoo. It's our entire city. We have a thriving little village here that just struggles. Okay, thank goodness we're making some money again. All right, I don't want to rock the boat too much on making more money. Huzzah! I mean, I do want to make a ton more money. Don't get me wrong. I just really... Okay, Swindali, are you a boy? Yes, you are. Ooh, you're a gold quality boy, yes! Alright, I'm gonna move Durwald over then. And Irvinine. Irvinine! I would prefer if you didn't interbreed. So I'm gonna move you over here. We need to do something about our sheep at some point too, because I don't think we've had as many sheep as I've really wanted. Uh, so we're gonna start working on that. But what I really wanted to do was just make sure that the zoo didn't, or excuse me, <clears throat> make sure that Shepherd's Nook didn't kind of burn to the ground today. We'll celebrate the arrival of new puppies. <gasps> no Snuggros! Oh, she had such a good run. Oh, I wonder how, why she got, her social group was too big. Oh, Snuggros! Maybe she missed her children. Oh, Snuggros! Rest in peace, my girl. Oh, that's so tragic. Okay. Our wild snug rose, our beautiful, beautiful wild girl has passed on. And it is it is now time to go ahead and have her daughter, Silver Rose, move in. Iceberg! Oh, now we're losing Iceberg just as she's playing with her pups? Okay, guys. Oh, the bottom line... Or excuse me, just as he's playing with, I think, his siblings. Oh, rest in peace, Iceberg. Oh my goodness, is there is there an adult wolf here anymore? Yes, there's still Arctic. <gasps> Arctic, you moved over here to be with Iceberg. You're still kind of young as a wolf. And you still have pups that you need help raising. And your food needs replaced. Let's call a keeper to do that. Oh gosh. More of that research, holy cow. And now Kana's about to have her baby is okay. Well, life. Oh, she's gonna give birth right over here. People are missing out. They didn't come into the cave in time, and they are gonna miss out on Kana having her wolf pups. Oh, I'm so excited. We'll have to name the wolf pups after you guys. And maybe if I just ignore the goats long enough, we'll start getting in the positive with money. And oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Okay, you know what? Well, I'm... Mm. <sighs> you know what? I... I think we're gonna go to the extremes with... Oh my gosh, and protesters are back. That's it, the goats are done. I'm done with the goats. We're gonna... I'm sorry, like Beth, who wanted to keep the prize goats, but I haven't been able to focus on adorable pups, and I think that the goats... That I think we're having a town meeting, a vote, to remove the goats! And puppies! Yes, look at these little guys! Oh, wonderful! A 
gold level male and a beautiful female who shockingly has no fertility. That's interesting. I wonder if they're a little too closely related. Hmm. We probably do need to allow uh, the wolves to potentially have some new outside genes come in. So I think we'll get Arctic a mate who isn't related to her next. Phew. Okay, guys. That is... I can't, I can't even believe how chaotic it's been. And I'm so done because now the protesters are going to come back. And they're going to protest about, like, Turnip. Turnip, did you give birth? I missed the babies. I am so... Okay, that's it. That's it. Here we go, guys. The protesters are back. I'm done with the... the we'll have Billy Goat Bridge. But you know what we're going to do? We're done having the Billy Goats over here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's it. In fact, like... I mean, I guess I could have maybe this bridge still, but that wouldn't be enough space for everybody because they really like having all of this this room. I think I'm done with this chaos. We might expand the their little exhibit home like this direction, and the goats just can't handle this particular bridge. Like this is the one that just sets them over the edge. These little spring rock. So, you know what I think we need to do is make it so they can't come near it. <gasps> Maybe that's the secret. Maybe that's all I need is just make it so they can't come anywhere near it. Okay. All right. Brilliant plan, Siri. I'm so, like, done with this chaos. Let's come down inside of here. And let's actually block it all off. Just like if it's stressing you out, goats. Then get away from the bridge. It could be that simple. I'm telling you. Maybe that's all they need. And then is this... Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Is this what's doing it? Wait. Wait. Is this window... Is this barrier right here... What's causing the problem? If that, if, if, I think I will absolutely lose it again and need another nap. If this barrier was what was causing the problem this whole time. And turnip. Turnip, you're still stressed over here. But it's going. Uh, are you kidding me? And then this barrier right here. The silence, the silence is me having a moment because so help me, was that one way or a two way glass window this whole time? I had stress nightmares about the situation with the goats last night. And you're telling me it's not the big fancy path that I have built and torn apart over and over and over again. You're telling me it's not any of that. Oh my gosh, it's a baby aardvark! You're telling me it was this window? The whole time? I need to go have a lie down. I, I, I am so glad we figured that out and it's still stressful for our animals over here for some reason. I am not sure why, but we'll figure out why. But if you are serious and it was this window alone that caused me that much anguish, I am never looking at one-way windows again. Never again. Or like the two-way windows. I... I'm gonna go have a lie down and we're gonna see if the protesters will get out of here because apparently now that's all they needed. Wow. Okay guys.
Thank you so much for joining me. If you could, do please leave a like for my sanity. And I'm, I'm going to go have a lie down, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.